Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new speed test. For today I have the Elephone S7 and the Yumi Plus E. In this video I'm gonna show you which device is a faster fingerprint scanner, I'm also gonna show you which device opens apps faster and we'll also check out the RAM management for both devices. Starting on the left with the Elephone S7, we have the Helio X20 CPU, we have 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and running Android 6.0.1. This device has a 5.5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. On the right we have the Yumi Plus E. This device has the Helio P20 CPU, we have 6 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage and of course running Android 6.0.1. We also have a 5.5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. Starting with the Antutu benchmark on both devices, so the Elephone S7 got a very low Antutu score of about 40,000, however I've seen this device with a score as high as 77,000, but after the last update that's the highest score that I can get. So um, here the Yumi Plus E wins uh, with a score of 65,000. Moving to the Geekbench 4, here the Yumi Plus E also scores higher for the multi-core score with a score of 38.44 and also scores higher for the single core score with a score of 8.41. Both devices have the fingerprint scanners in the home buttons um, right here so it's gonna be a very easy test. So we are gonna lock the screens on both devices and I'll try to touch this in the same time um, on both devices. So let me slow that down for you. And it looks like the Yumi Plus C was faster for that test. We are also gonna try the fingerprint scanner with the screens on this time. So I'm gonna lock the screens on both devices. And then I'll turn on the screens and I'll try to touch them at the same time. And let me slow that down for you. And it looks that the Yumi Plus C was faster for that test as well. For our next test, I'm gonna start opening the exact same apps in the same time on both devices. I'm gonna show that I don't have anything running in the background for um, either. So everything is um, closed from the background. And we are gonna start opening the exact same apps on both devices. We'll start with FIFA 16. And we'll wait and see which one actually starts the game sooner. And it looks like the Yumi is gonna start uh, this one faster. And we'll wait for the S7 as well. So we'll uh, leave that one running in the background. The next one is gonna be the GPS uh, app. So um, we'll see which one connects the satellite sooner. So the Yumi was faster um, connecting to the GPS um, for this one. We'll leave uh, that one running in the background as well. The next one is gonna be the Pokemon Go app. And it looked like this one um, was slightly faster, but we'll wait and see which one actually starts the game uh, faster. Okay, so it looks like the Yumi is gonna be faster for this one as well. So we'll just uh, wait for that one now. And uh, again, we'll leave uh, this one running in the background as well. The next one is gonna be the speed test app. And uh, we'll uh, do this separately. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna fast forward the, the video. And next uh, we'll do the same thing with the Yumi and I'm gonna fast forward. And here we got a better download speed on the S7. We'll uh, leave that one running in the background. The next one is gonna be Chrome. And I believe that this one started uh, a bit faster. We're gonna open uh, the exact same article here, if I can uh, make it an article. So let's go to home on both of them. And uh, maybe this one was a bit faster, but let's open the exact same article on both. 
and I think that the S7 uh, loaded that a bit sooner. So I guess uh, I'm past my limit of reading for this month or something like that. We'll leave that one running in the background. The next one is gonna be Instagram on both. And let's open my account. So that one was uh, faster for some reason. And we'll open the same uh, picture. And the picture did load uh, in the same time on both. We'll leave that one running in the background. The next one is gonna be the YouTube app. And again, the Yumi was um, a bit faster, but they kind of loaded that um, in the exact same time. We're gonna, let's actually just open the first one here. So I think this one uh, started a bit faster. We'll leave this one uh, running in the background. The next one is gonna be Asphalt Extreme on both. And again, maybe the Yumi was uh, a bit faster, but let's see which one actually starts the game uh, sooner. And yeah, it looks like the Yumi will start the game sooner on this one. And yes, it did. So let's close uh, the ad and we'll leave this one uh, running in the background as well. Next, uh, let's do Twitter. And uh, yeah, this one loaded a bit faster here. And again, uh, this one I think loaded a bit uh, faster. We'll leave that one running in the background as well. The next one is gonna be Temple Run. And let's see which one actually starts the game uh, faster. And it looks like the Yumi Plus E was uh, faster for this one as well. All right, so we'll uh, leave this one in the background as well. And uh, let's see which one launches the camera faster. So kind of in the same time, I'm gonna have to lift them up so you can actually see the white screen. So let uh, me lift them up and we'll try this in the same time. So I believe that the S7 was uh, faster for the camera launch. Okay, now I'm very curious to see what happened uh, with all those apps running in the background. So I'm gonna open the multitasking on both. And let's scroll all the way to the beginning. And that's FIFA 16. And it's still running in the background for both devices. We'll open the multitasking. Next, the GPS test. Um, they'll both have to reconnect the satellites. And that one, it's upside down now. We'll um, open the multitasking again. Let's see if we can turn this around. And let's uh, see what happened to Pokemon Go on both of them. And uh, it's still running in the background for both. And the speed test app. So I'm um, still running in the background uh, for both. Let's see what happened to Chrome. So in the exact same spot um, where we left them. Instagram on both again. And in the exact same spot as before. And the YouTube app. But they're both in the same uh, spot. Let's see Asphalt Extreme. So um, they're still uh, running in the background.
let's see Twitter so again in the same spot temple run oh and the s7 actually had to reload the temple run but uh, it's still running on this one so we'll wait a second till uh, that one starts up but i think uh, we only have the camera left anyways so if that's uh, the case yeah it's only the camera that we have left so there you have it guys um, i believe that the yumi plus e was slightly faster uh, in opening apps uh, every now and then and uh, that one was faster at loading uh, some apps uh, at times um, for ram management they're both really good but uh, the yumi plus seemed to be a bit better uh, because it had all the apps running in the background uh, at all times all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did like it press that like button don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching